Hello guys, welcome back to my channel again and today I'm gonna cover up the topic that is a stack view. So let's get started first. What is a stack view? So before that we need to know why we need stack view. In normal cases when you need to set some constraints for the multiple views, auto layout is used where we need to apply more constraints for that views so that becomes a little bit complex that's why stack view is introduced to handle it out so now look at what is a stack view stack view is basically a powerful tool and a part of auto layout which acts as a container for the other views and us stack view is a subclass of UI view and it is having some main properties like access, alignment, distribution and spacing. So let's discuss these properties. First access property. Access property describes for laying out the views in either directions. In direction can be vertical or the horizontal. And next alignment property which is used to align the views perpendicular to the axis of stack view. And next we have distribution property that describes the view to be sized. Like example, fill equally means to size the views to be equal. In the last property is spacing. And this property defines the distance between the views of the stack view. So let's check out this stack how it works in the Xcode project. So this is I have made a sample of sign up page where I have image and multiple text fields and two buttons. So I have already set the constraints. So as you can see in this scene how many constraints we have applied only for this single form like so all these are constraints are applied here so this is little bit complex to handle these constraints for this simple view so just clear all the constraints first from here like so and now I'm going to use that stack for this view so first select all these text fields to be embedded in stack and that option can be selected from here embed in stack and another option we have from the menu bar editor option and go to embed in stack view so here I'm clicking so as you can see this is compressed and all the text fields are in the stack view now. So as stack view is selected, we can see its properties in the attribute inspector. First is the axis as we have discussed. And here we have either horizontal and vertical. This vertical is by default selected because the views on this screen are in vertical axis. If I change it to horizontal, that becomes like this. So make it vertical. And next, I need to set its constraints. So from this option, I'm pinning from left to zero and from right to zero. And just add two constraints. And I'm giving it top distance from this image. So pressing control button, just drag it like this and go to space it like so. Now I'm not going to give this bottom spacing because in between we, we have another views. So leave it here and now what we can do we can change more properties like alignment in this case fill is by default 
leading is on the left hand side center is at the center and trailing is on the right hand side in my case i'll choose fill and what the distribution does again by default it is having fill and we have another options like fill equally fill proportionally equal spacing equal centering in my case i am using fill equally because i want its distribution to be equal in length or the height so now we need some spacing choosing this option by default uh, value is 0 we can change the value like 10 or we can say 20 like so it's very easy and now these two buttons I am adding into a stack view selecting these buttons and click on this embed in stack so it is now in stack now here you can see now again I'm setting constraints from left to zero right from zero and from bottom I'm taking it as 20 like so but the layout is little bit awkward so just go to the distribution and click on fill equally like so and again here the spacing i'm taking let's say 20 there it is and this is the horizontal axis as you can see in the axis option horizontal is by default selected so this red constraint is saying that this is not fixed right now so for that i need to set its constraints from here i'm setting its width and height as 100 and top distance is 55 and that's it at three constraints and now set its exposition to exactly at the center like so now again this is also not constrained so i'm just setting its constraints like this now all is okay as you can see there is no error now so this is how stack view is used into your project for any queries or questions you can comment below and if this is helpful to you so don't forget to hit like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel you can also read about the stack view into my blog i have shared the link in the description below so guys bye bye see you in the next video wherever i go wherever i see i'll remember yo if you remember